Goosebumps is rated Y7 because it may be too spooky for kids under 7. Hello Goosebumps fans, it's time for one more video because it just continues to scratch my surface in the door. It's scratching underneath the sink and I have to talk about it which is... Could the gruel in the episode actually have been defeated by the kiss? Now, in the in the book, the gruel actually got lots of got of compliments, and he kept on shrinking, changed the color and stuff. And he kept shrinking and shrinking, and then she kissed it, and it just right into nothingness. Now, in the episode, however, she did compliment it and everything, but she did not kiss it. She It turned into a mud ball, but she didn't kiss the mud ball. So the question is, could it actually have been destroyed if she kissed it? The funny part is that it's inconclusive. We don't know for sure. She didn't kiss it, so it's like it's there. And plus, I think when it comes to like fourth wall breaker is... Basically, when it comes straight down to it, is that <clears throat> the writers actually thought it was pretty funny. They thought it was pretty funny that he, that it's still alive, it's with her, and it's just there chilling. They just thought it was funny, and I, I agree. It's a interesting twist, too, where it's like she has it now. She knows how to control it, and plus they actually look in between the lines being like, but you said it can't be destroyed. Then all of a sudden, it's able to be destroyed with the power of love. Would even It's like it could be love. It could be kindness, killing with kindness. It could actually be true love's first kiss. It could actually just be a kiss. We don't freaking know. Yeah, that's where it's the gray area of it didn't say anything about it can be defeated. It said it is, there's no known thing to kill it. So it's like, yeah. But could have been destroyed by that. Couldn't have been destroyed by the kiss. I would say it most likely might have, and it can. It's just that we don't have any proof that it can. That's the thing. It's like, we have no proof. And I'm pretty sure she's not going to actually kiss that thing. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I mean, go on. And like, actress period, even though I'm pretty sure for Fall Breaker again, it's like, it's not like the actress read the script and said, oh, no, I will not be kissing a thing. I'm not going to kiss a prop. No. It's like, yeah, it's just not like a decade or so later where she's like, I have to be nude in Jason versus Freddy. Oh, hell no. And it's like, okay, get the stunt double. <laughs> It'll be funny even back then. It's like, yeah, get the stunt double. Yo, get the stunt double. Mwah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty sure that they just did it on their own. She didn't actually say, hey, I'm not going to kiss that thing. I'm not going to kiss this whatever, like whatever prop. She's not going to do it. I don't think she had anything to say on that one. They did it themselves. So can it be defeated by a kiss? I would say there is nothing that actually proves that it can't be. But considering it says it can't be defeated, I don't really know for sure. It's kind of hard, especially the fact that it went to the mud ball. So it seemed like it actually went to a very weakened state. And apparently it was able to grow back to its normal size, even though you kind of expect them to be like, it shrinks down back to its mud ball state and it's just a mud ball. Instead, as you can see in the episode, it returned to its original state, and there it is, and you know, flowers, and calm, and here's some music, <laughs> funny music, funny music to give to them, and, well, of course, links and stuff like that, uh, links, but I don't think that's anything connected, but you gotta admit still that the freaking dog should have been freaking scared of that thing, too. How in the world are you able to freaking just pick it up and that stuff? And it's kind of funny, even right now, where it's like, I actually, while recording this, I actually found something cool. And, well, even in Welcome to Dead House, they had a dog. And I'm like, oh, they did? And the dog actually is dead. And it's like, oh, huh? when did the dog die? And it's like, well, that's going to be a good one for you to do a spin off of whenever you return back to Welcome to Dead House. I'm not going to return about that till years. It's like, well, good luck remembering that. Hmm? 
I was scary day. I was scary night. Wait, but I want to do it. No, it's too late. It's the end of the video.